first award that we give out, the Institute of General Semantics, we give out a, a book award called the Hayakawa Prize, uh, named after S.I. Hayakawa, which many of you, uh, who many of you might remember, was a U.S. Senator from California. But before he was, he, he, a Republican. <laughs> Not only a Republican, but a Republican who slept a lot in the Senate during the, right. <laughs> And uh, which was actually a smart move. I think if I was a senator, I'd do the same thing. But before he was a U.S. senator, he was a great proponent of general semantics. Uh, by the way, he became a senator because he was the president of San Francisco State University back in the 60s. And when the students had riots there, he pulled the plug on the speaker so the students couldn't be heard. And so many conservatives in California said, wow, that's great. They voted and made him senator which was bad for general semantics because we have a lot of liberals in general semantics and they cancel their membership. So it's a silly thing. The whole thing was silly. But uh, before S.I. Hayakawa went into uh, politics, he was a big booster of general semantics. He actually wrote a book called Language and Thought in Action, which in the 1940s was a bestseller. And that was about general semantics, which I encourage any of you who don't know about general semantics to Google it and Google the Institute. So we're going to uh, start the evening by giving the Hayakawa Award, named in Hayakawa's honor. Uh, it's a thousand dollar prize, and Corey Anton, the vice president of the Institute of General Semantics, will uh, present the award. Corey. <laughs> <laughs> 